after a, uh, a foot pursuit, the, uh, the male being chased ran into the foyer of a unit block in uh, Walker Street at Redfern, pursued by the officer, where we will say a violent confrontation uh, occurred uh, during which a shot was fired. Um, the male being pursued sustained a wound to his foot. He has been taken to St Vincent's Hospital where he is presently undergoing surgery. The male police officer involved in the foot pursuit uh, has broken his left wrist and sustained a number of other injuries. He is also being treated at St Vincent's Hospital. The matter is uh, being investigated by a critical incident investigation team. That is as a consequence of the shot being fired and someone being injured. Questions? Why were they chasing him? They wanted to speak with the two fellows who got out of the cab and one of the uh, people, we will say, uh, ran, um, chased by a police officer. Well, Can you comment on those allegations? One at, one at a time. Can you comment on these allegations that one of them had stolen a, a bike? No. Is that incorrect? Or? Oh, that's the first I've heard of that. What about the idea? Well, why did they want to speak to them in the first place? Well, they recognised them as uh, people that were known to us. Um, there is, there is uh, uh, an ongoing problem with uh, property crime in Redfern that we are attempting to address and uh, the police wanted to speak to these two people and when one of them run, pretty good indication, they got something to hide so we chased them. You talk about a violent confrontation Mark, I mean, can you tell us what sort of violence, I mean, it was just this a struggle and, and he's gone for the gun? Or... No, look, we're, we're talking about a fairly violent confrontation, well clearly this matter is still the subject of investigation. It is only very, very early days. I have had the benefit of viewing a CCTV, which depicts the struggle, depicts the incident, and it is a violent, very violent confrontation. Was the man armed? That is still the subject of investigation. Did the police officer have a taser at all? No. It's plain, plain clothes police don't carry tasers. Was pursuing... there an attempt to um, use a fire hose during the incident? No. Were they pursuing them? Prior to seeing them in the taxi? No, they were driving along the street and uh, saw that the taxi stop and these two fellows get out of the cab. Did they, they, have, did they have any property with them that police identify that might have been stolen? Look, that is still the subject of investigation. At the time that the shot was fired, were they both in the ground? Subject of investigation. Was there a knife in that room at the time? Or was the knife recovered? Uh, we don't believe so. Did, did the what was victim... the rank of the officer? He's a constable, three-year constable. So how old is how the constable? How he's th he's uh, 36, the constable. He's been a member of the New South Wales Police Force for three years. He works at Redfern Local Area Command as a member of their proactive crime team. Uh, the fellow who was uh, shot in the foot, uh, we believe, and we're still yet to confirm, um, he's being uh, uh, not as cooperative as we would like. Um, but we believe he is a 29-year-old man from Parramatta. And does he have a criminal history? If it is the person we believe it is, yes. Have, well, having seen the CCTV footage, are you comfortable that the officer involved did the right thing? Look, uh, having seen that footage and uh, in light of recent events, I'm going to be very circumspect in, in terms of what I say. Is the other However, what I will say is that um, the matter is the subject of a critical incident investigation. But um, from what I've seen, um, the officer um, was literally uh, fighting for his own safety, if not his life. Will you be releasing that CCTV? No. So is there an allegation that the, um, the man that was shot reached for the officer's gun? That will be the subject of our investigation. Were they touching each other, as in were they close to each other, or did he shoot from a distance? They were involved in a very violent, close contact confrontation. Mark, the critical investigation team, that, that formed by what detectives from outside the referendum, isn't it? That's uh, exactly right. The police uh, who are um, conducting the critical incident investigation are from the Surrey Hills Local Area Command. That is uh, normal practice, that uh, they are from a command other than the command where the uh, involved police are attached.